car leather care the three biggest mistakes that you make mistake number one is how you get in and out of your car yes shocker I don't hear anyone talking about this, but let me show you what I mean specifically. Here we have a white BMW M4. It's only got 13,000 miles on it, but you'll notice the car leather in here on the side bolster has been worn down. There is no cleaner, no conditioner in the world that is going to remove that, repair that, or prevent it. You know why? because of the way you get in and out of your car. Very similar to how people open their car doors and shut their car doors is they will scuff up the sides of the doors because they're, they lack awareness. So you, if you got a brand new car and you wanna preserve your leather, do not drag your ass against the side bolsters as you're getting in and out of your car. That will literally wear the finish off of your car leather and there's no leather conditioners or cleaners in the world that's gonna stop that, prevent it, or repair it. This is what I see people do. They get into their car and they drag themselves. They slide into the seat. That's a no-no. What you wanna do is place yourself into the seat. I will give you some examples of what I do. Now this is a sports car, so it's got some overdeveloped side bolsters. I set my butt into the seat. I use my right foot and I place it on the brake. That becomes my leverage point because now what I can do is I can leverage myself against the back of the seat and swing my leg up and over the bolster. And this side bolster will remain perfectly new for the life of my car. Problem number two is you guys, all in the name of conditioning your car leather, you want to race and find the best car leather conditioner. And you want to bypass the more important part, which is cleaning the car leather, not conditioning it. Yes, conditioning, it's worthy of its own separate topic, but what I find people do, they become so fixated, hyper-focused on conditioning their car leather. Because I get it, life happens, life gets busy, you don't have time to clean it, but at least if you know that you're conditioning it with the best car leather conditioner, that there's a certain peace of mind Unfortunately, not only is it a fault sense of security on your part, but you're in the long term, you're actually going to get the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to preserve and condition your leather so that it lasts. But what happens is that you apply layer upon layer of the best leather conditioner and you create a buildup, a grungy, greasy, gross buildup that will damage and eat away at your leather as it sits on top of the surface. Weeks, months, years go by before you know it. Now you race to YouTube to find the best car leather uh, cleaner and now you clean it off and lo and behold, as you're cleaning it, you realize, oh my gosh, there's this gross buildup for one, that's Secondly, as I'm cleaning it, I realize I'm cleaning off the finished material, the finished layer of my car leather. That's disturbing. Here I was thinking I was doing my car leather good by conditioning it. So with that said, trust me when I say the most important thing is cleaning your car leather. Third biggest mistake that you're making is lack of understanding. And that is this. And I will, I will repeat myself until finally the word gets out. That is your car leather it is a natural material. It came from cow hides as a rule, but it's been coated with a synthetic clear coating. What does that mean to you? Well, it means no longer are you dealing with a natural product. So if you were to read the labels of these souped up, hyped up, overpriced, special car leather conditioners, in fact, when you read the labels of these car leather conditioners made specially for your car leather that's special in material, and they will go into how it will nourish and protect and, and filter out UV rays and all this stuff, all this stuff that you don't know any better because you don't know what you're dealing with. You've been told you're dealing with car leather. You've been told it's fragile. You've been, you've been told it needs special product, special techniques, special cleaners, special scrub pads, special claws. Everything is special about it. And it is cool. Trust me, I love car leather, but just know that it's coated. So you think you've been a good little sheep and you have followed along obediently and played along, hence you go in search of the best car leather cleaner and then the best car leather conditioner and you keep applying it, but you don't realize because the industry doesn't want you to know because then that would make those products irrelevant. They don't want you to know that you're actually dealing with a synthetic top coating which is the good news, by the way. That means that normal wear and tear, it will be less of a concern. 
meaning your car leather is now more durable. One of the reasons they started adding clear coat to the painted paint, the paint, how was that for redundancy? Why they started adding clear coat to your car paint. You're not actually dealing with the color coat, you're dealing with a clear coating, hence clear coating on your car leather. I know you'll look at it, you'll smell it, and you'll think, there's no clear coating on my car leather. Just know that it's coated, okay? I don't care how much car your car costs, I don't care what kind of car it is, your car leather is coated. The only way it will not be coated, because there's always exceptions to the rule, I don't care what it is. Very few exceptions exist when it comes to coated car leather, is if it's been re-dyed in the past and that is the exception. And you, unless you are the original owner, and by the way, this re-dyeing process can in fact happen at the dealership before you take delivery of it, which is a whole nother can of worms. But that's the thir third point. You're not dealing with a natural material. You're dealing with a synthetic layer on top of a natural material. That changes the rules of cleaning, care, and maintenance moving forward. I've got plenty of videos that go into great detail on the best car leather cleaners. How do I clean car leather? How do I condition car leather? So now you have updated information. Hopefully moving forward, you're gonna respond with updated techniques and products with this updated information. Okay. Hope you learned something. Until next time, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see, by all means, give me a comment. Let me know specifically, because I wanna know. Has anyone ever taught you the proper way of how to get in and out of your car so that you don't damage your car leather unwantingly, unknowingly, and then it's too late? I wanna know that specifically. <music>